Welcome everybody to the first episode of Hunter Plays. And I thought of no better game to play than Robotech as my first game. Why? Because my name's Rick Hunter, and we all know who the main character of the first Robotech series was. Yes, yes you are right. Rick Hunter. Wish they did more with him though. Anyway, but this is the game that actually got me into the series. I played this game long before I watched Robotech. And now, I love anime. So, before we get into this, I'd like to say that I have never, or rather, I have not played this game in a million years. So, please be nice to me when I am failing at this game miserably. Alright, so, let's get on to chapter one, shall we? On the day the people of Macross Island were celebrating the completion of the SDF-1, the aliens in Trotty arrived in Earth's orbit, determined to take back the space fortress you have... You have been dispatched to meet the threat head on. Help Wolf and Skull Squadron turn back the alien threat. Hint, decoys attract enemy missiles. You can launch decoys near important items to protect them. Alright, let's get going. We are 8 minutes in, so I estimate that we will have 22 minutes of gameplay. Alright, so let's go. One down, let's keep going. Um, I'll try not to get myself killed. I totally forgot how to change uh, formations, even though I went through training. Ah, God. Okay. All right, two down. Don't know how many more to go. Got him down without even using my missiles. Ooh, another one. That was fast. All right, so, um, things that I should talk about. Well, I don't really know since this is the first thing I'm doing. Ah, God, that was suck. Ah, dang it. I, I did a stupid thing while I was messing around with the uh, controls earlier, and I didn't realize it, is that, um, I... is that I um, accidentally switched the triggers around. So if you see me doing random barrel rolls, uh, that's because I keep forgetting what trigger I am pressing. No, you don't. Got ya. Okay, let's see. Two more to go. I remember when I was a kid and I played this, 
um, I would always use my missiles because I could never figure out why I would always miss them. It's not until I started playing uh, Flight Sims a couple years ago that I realized that that little yellow circle is where you're supposed to shoot. God dang it, more of them? Oh, God. Well, I'm taking it to him. That's a good thing. Okay, two more. Hopefully, hopefully two more. Three, four. <sighs> God. Ah, uh, finally got used to the triggers. I should probably, before the next level, exit the game so that I can, uh, you know, change the stuff back. And uh, got ya. Come on, hit him. <sighs> Anyway, but I'm lagging quite a bit while I'm playing this, but I imagine it's because I have my video editor on. This computer I'm using isn't meant to do more than a couple things at once. And, oh god, ow. Ooh, I got him anyway. Yeah, but um, I'm very thankful if you're watching this. This is my first video so if there's anything that you see that could be improved on uh, please tell me so now I'll shut up and let you enjoy me shooting these guys down if that is your cup of tea One of the things I really like about this game is that the ally AIs aren't completely useless like in our modern Call of Duty games or any other game I can really think of where your AIs are really they're just there because they don't want it to be like you're the lone gun against the entire world. But your AIs actually do stuff and if and you have to protect them well at least some of them but okay I had 108 I just god dang I had very low accuracy anyway so let's save this game and then get ready to go to the next level shall we and we are currently at 15 minutes so 7 minutes a level mm, that's pretty good so, on to the next level. As you can see, I am using an emulator to play this game. It's pretty good, but I'm experiencing some lag on the sound. If you guys are experiencing that too, I would love if you commented on that.
So there's not going to be much editing in this game. Maybe cutting out the loading screens. Which, if I do this, then what I'm saying makes no sense. So, alright, next level, let's go.